hey guys this is gossip and reactions marie's take i'm gonna go a little deeper when it comes to afro latinas whether it's from puerto rico santo domingo colombia mm -hmm, cuba panama wherever they have afro which is mixed with black let me tell you something guys living here in america you have learned of certain things when it comes to racially driven that kind of wake you up and shock you out of your dream it's like oh my god look i grew up in a place in haiti in a little town where as kids there were light-skinned cousins brothers aunts with light eye you know cat eye and um we play together. It was never a thing for us when it comes to light skin, dark skin. We hold each other's hand. We go to the river. We bring water home. We eat together. We sleep together in the same bedroom. We hold each other's hand going to the river. Nobody thought it was anything than just being kids, enjoying life. But when I came to America, I realized if you hold somebody's hand, whether they are your cousins or brother, that means you changing your sexuality i don't want to go into details i remember in haiti i would see grown businessmen would wear a pink shirt with a, a black or a brown pants nice outfit a yellow uh a shirt business stuff and i have not seen that in america and if i have seen it it's because apparently they are in a different sexuality range do you see how different culture can mean different things for you? Where I'm going with this, Erica Mena from the half uh, from the hip hop of Atlanta, I believe, call Spice, a young Jamaican woman that sings, you know, reggae songs. Nice, she's very out there doing her thing. Congratulations to her. And I have watched them in the past. Now I have better things to invest my time in. I don't really focus like I used to. That's why when the story broke out, I really didn't see it. But last night, I had to watch what happened. And I saw the tape where Erica Mena first lied to the ladies in the group saying, well, um, what's this young man named? The Jamaican one she has the two kids with. Very controversial young man. He used to date... Um, he used to date Nicki Minaj. I can't, for some reason right now, I cannot remember his name. Tall, good looking, and he had some controversial thing about the size of his stick. Everybody, woman was going crazy left and right for him. Hopefully in the middle of the story, I will remember his name. His name is in the back of my head. I just cannot bring it up right now. Okay. So anyhow, she was lying to the young ladies. So when Spice met with the young men in Miami, he actually showed proof that he was paying child support every month. He was not late or anything. So that, when they went in the party, Erica Mena and Spice with, uh, what's the other one? You know, women. They tried to show Erica Mena that prove that the young men show them he's been paying his child support erica mena is lying so erica mena get really angry upset at spice because spice is the one that get the information from the young man damn i can't remember his name damn his name is right there i just can't bring it up <sighs> anyhow hopefully it comes later on in the middle of the story so anyhow erica mena get angry calling spice a blue monkey because Spice were wearing a blue wigs, nice, goes with her. She does it really well, blue dress. That's her signature. She loves the blue wigs and blue everything else. So I watched Dr. Omar last night where he said Erica Mena not only needs to apologize to Spice, he, she needs to apologize to every black person. Because when you call a black person a blue monkey, you're calling all of us a, bl a blue monkey. Where I'm going with this? Oh, this young man name is Saf Safari. Safari, I believe is his name. Safari, yeah. Safari is crazy. Anyhow, when Safari showed Spice the proof that everything was taken care of, Erica Mena was lying. 
that kind of get into her so instead of calling spice on the side talk to her let her know what's going on she find it and her mind to call spice a blue monkey and i am not surprised like i said erica mena is afro latina cardi b is afro latina cardi b origin is from dominican and erica mena origin is from puerto rico i believe her background her family come from there but for her to come out with that bronze tone of skin, that means her father could have been black or her mom not that light skinned. Somebody in her family is not pure Latina or pure white because she come out a little darker than the normal Hispanic. Why I'm not surprised, okay. Afro Latinas using the black look the bronze the darker tone and the advantage to get to the next level in hollywood when it comes to georgia where in atlanta the housewife the black community that has money that rich live there those girls want to get to the next level by acting like they are black sun like they are black rap they like, like they are black move like they are black add but add boobs add lips injection their mouth all kind of stuff they do all kind of stuff add the extension the wigs everything weave to look like a regular black woman to get the credit as a black woman be in the press as a black woman but behind the scene live the life of an afro latina not giving credit to how they look to get to the next level Taking our men, taking our brothers, act like they are black, but then when they get to where it is in their advantage, they switch to Latina or Afro to get to the next level. Do you see how they play the game? They act black, move black to get to the next level. So I was not surprised at all when I heard she called Spice the monkey name. That was the most degrading name to call a black person because they use it against us back then and they're still using it towards us now because behind the scene, the other kind, whether it's white, whether it's Hispanic, whether it's um, Asian, Europe, they call black those names. I remember uh, I was in the workplace where a woman, she's mixed, because she's light skinned with Kelly her you could tell she has black in her and because I defend myself well in Spanish I remember her saying in Portuguese I believe maca which mean monkey if I'm not mistaken maca or something similar to that and I said oh wow she just call us monkey thinking i did not understand what she was saying and i heard exactly what she what she said you could correct me if i'm wrong but there was a, a word for monkey in portuguese she said it not thinking nobody has heard it and i heard it again i am not surprised afro latina using the look of a black woman to their advantage to get to the next level when it comes to famous when it comes to be in a movie when it comes to be in tv shows acting like a black woman but behind the scene, they behave or act like a Hispanic person. And I have seen it. I live here in Miami. Supposedly, it's not that bad. But behind the scene, there was a lot going on. Again, it says, Erica Mena broke her silence nearly two weeks after she received Black Flash for calling love and hip-hop Atlanta cosmate Spice a blue monkey. The actress issued a public apology according to a statement given to TMZ. She added that the insult was not racially driven. Again, I will confirm it. It was racially driven. It could have been anything else not calling her out of her name. And monkey, really? Okay. I deeply regret my insensitive comment and want to humbly apologize to anybody I hurt or offended by my thoughtlessness. But my choice of word was wrong 
and I take full responsibility for what I said. Men are taught the media platform again. I am tired and disgusting of these people calling black people out of their name and later they come with this apology i sincerely apologize why did not you think about the effect this was gonna have in any person who's black and no no, no not even that you have two black kids by safari a black man you still allegedly sexually involved with them that means you love the black thing you want to act like the black women, but you don't want to identify as one. Do you see the hypocrit hypocrisy in the whole thing? They want to use us for our look. Big behind, big fully lip. Uh, some of us got big boobs. <laughs> they want to use that to their advantage to get to the next level. Take our men away from us. Go have children that look like us. But they do not want to identify as us, including Carly B. Because I even heard somehow one time she identified herself as uh, Afro-Latina and then take it to as black. Like, what do you want? What do you want? And I know for sure as Haitian that people from the dominican republic are very racist they are a mixed couple the majority of them are black but they don't feel black they think they are white they were mixed with spain let me tell you something dominican republic treat haitian like crap like dogs throw them in the back of their car treat them like crap deported them back to haiti let me tell you something personally i have something with dominican i feel like they are the most black racist country. So when Kali B stated she is black, it's to their advantage so they can sell music. But behind the scene, give me a break. In Spanish, they will call us monkey left to right because it makes them feel better. It makes them feel bigger. It makes them feel they are a part of their own kind. I remember one time I worked somewhere where there was a young black man. When the provider asked that young man what was his race, you know, when you put black, white, uh, multiple, now they have it for the interracial kids. And he said he was not black. And I'm talking about somebody who's way darker than me. Um, it's not about the color of the skin, but this young man from Puerto Rico, and he stated he's not black. So I'm saying, if you're not black, what are you? He could not respond, but he strongly, firmly saying he was not black. Again, when it comes to those people living here in America, they will use the race card to get to the next level. They will change their look to get to the next level. But at the end, they don't care for us. If we get hurt by the police, they don't feel our pain. If our kids get killed by the police for no reason, they don't feel our pain because in their mind, they're not black. They only use the black image to get them to Hollywood, to get them to the movies, to get them to the next level. And I said it because I have seen it and it's repeated itself over and over. So again, the reason for this video that I am not surprised for Erica Mena to call Spice out of her name, to call black people out of our names, and she has two black kids. Imagine later on in life, this kid's gonna see this video, and I hope she has an explanation to her kids for calling this woman out of her name, for calling black people out of our names, and it's been said before, so I know she heard it somewhere, and I know she feels that she's not a part of us. They just wanna be taking advantage of looking like us, get to the next level but not being us isn't it something what money will make you do i believe she get fired and she deserved to be fired let me see her find a move a, a, a spot in telenovelas probably she's too dark to get there you see she's messing up for herself she now messed up for her and black hollywood and i don't think the mexican gonna give her a damn spot because she's too dark to pass for them so where do you belong you in trouble, Erica Mena. Subscribe and let me know how you feel. Bye.